Well, hi, everybody. We welcome you in to Gold and Blue Now for this Tuesday. I'm Tony Caridi. Thanks so much for being with us. It's back to the practice field today for the Mountaineers. Spring practice day number 13 as we get ready for this coming Saturday's annual Gold and Blue scrimmage game. So far, so good, according to the Mountaineer coaches, and that includes new linebackers coach Keith Patterson, who says he's been very happy with both the passion and the competitiveness that he's seen from his Mountaineers. Normally about this time, you know, I, I was a little bit concerned, you know, thinking, you know, are they looking forward to the spring game, looking forward to the next scrimmage before we did, we come out and we competed and, and uh, do everything right. But, uh, you know, again, the, co the co competition and the passion that they're playing with, that, that's what's, uh, what's great. From current Mountaineer defenders to past Mountaineer defenders, Julian Miller's getting set for the upcoming NFL draft. He was a guest on Monday's Metro News Statewide Sports Line and gave us some insight into getting ready for that big day. You know, as a football player growing up, uh, this is uh, your real world, you know, um, especially going through uh, high school, like you said, four years, and in college, four or five years. Um, like you said, you have a place to be. You have somewhere where you're supposed to be. You have classes to go to. You know, you kind of have like a set schedule. Right. Everything's kind of ahead of you. And uh, going into this process, you know, everything's kind of a blur. From the competitive side of Mountaineer Athletics to the spiritual side now, it was a big night on Monday, the annual Fellowship of Christian Athletes Dinner taking place at the Waterfront Place Hotel in Morgantown. Our Chip Fontanaza was there. He's got the story. On Monday night, the West Virginia University Fellowship of Christian Athletes had its annual FCA dinner where the students got up and spoke about what God has meant to them in their lives. The whole event has just been great, how everybody can go up and give their testimonies about how God has impacted their lives. Every, everything has been great. It's amazing uh, to be able to see the athletes that everyone looks up to, coming to FCA weekly on a, you know, on a consistent basis, coming to huddle. Uh, you know, these are athletes that I look up to, and you know, I'm, I'm just as big a fan as anyone else. And so to see them coming to FCA and, and being a part of uh, you know, everything that, that FCA has going on is, is really cool for me as well. It's another support group that I have here at West Virginia, um, going through all the rigorous things that we go through in basketball and things like that. It's a, it's a mission to show others that it's more than basketball. And you can find out more about the annual FCA dinner on our website, WVMetroNews.com. For Gold and Blue Now, I'm Chip Fontanaza. Thank you, Chip, and that'll do it for this edition of Gold and Blue Now. Keep up to date with the Mountaineers anytime right here at WVMetroNews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been Gold and Blue Now.